as we said, lighter weights can be used to increase the speed of the lift. Yes, they can, but only if we appropriate the correct lift. Only if we say, I'm going to do a really light explosive weight today, and I'm going to power snatch it, or I'm going to go really heavy today and do a full clean or do a, a clean pull. There's no point in saying, I'm going to do a light day today and power clean it. The movement mechanic will break down. It won't be the same movement. As we said, when we only jump at half effort, only jump to a half extension, you wouldn't do it. Athletes only need to power clean and snatch. Hopefully we've been getting around why that, that isn't the case. If we can full depth, it, is a, a, it gives us a much broader palette of exercises we can utilise. Um, as I said here, if they do, it will limit their ability to handle heavier loads. Um, it will limit glute recruitment as well. Plenty of research out there that shows that you only get your glutes firing significantly when you're deep in a squat. From here to about here, your arse does basically nothing. It's only when you get deep into your squat that your arse actually kicks in. And people think sprinters don't actually get into those positions, but you know, if they actually do look. So when you go half, it's just is it the positive? Yeah, when you're um, yeah, when you're here, it's mainly quads and hamstrings. It's quarter. Yeah, quarter, or even to sort of here, it's mainly quads and hamstrings. It's only when you actually get sort of thighs below parallel really that you start to really engage glutes. Um, some pictures of. Well, you you can do. I mean, I think there's, there's, a, there's a big misconception. I think about the way that having full range of motion will make you slower. It, 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 it's a slow range of movement. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's if you've got full range of motion, people think that you know sprinters need to be tight. But there's been plenty of research done which is showing that as long as you strength train through a full range, you don't actually lose explosiveness. You would lose it through pure stretching, but not through through actual lifting, if that makes sense. But if you look at like joint positions, I mean, if we look at that, that is a full, a full squat. Now, this position here is a full squat. That's yeah. below parallel in a squat. So to think we don't need to have such a full squat is incorrect. Now, these positions are all very much full squat positions. You know, so we, we shouldn't underestimate and think we never ever go past sort of this range of motion. We do in sprinting all the time. We always go real high knees and get the glutes involved and so forth. Um, here's a guy that is, he was world juggling champion two years ago. Um, and what you'll find, what you'll see in this, is someone that it, that's never been taught really to descend under a bar. He's never been taught to descend under a bar, and because of that, you see there's a fundamental problem in his strength and conditioning. This is him doing a clean, a world juggling champion. Good weight on the bar. Yeah. How much is that on it? He's got probably a couple of 15s on there and a 20, so you're talking one, what up, 120, you're talking 130, something like that, it was. If you watch it again, I mean, the problem is you can see that he, he has got more power than that. And you can see he's really struggling to get, he just wants to be able to drop a little lower. Yeah. But he would never be able to handle more weight than that. Because purely his technique will not allow him to handle more weight than that. Is it alright for him to spread his legs at the bottom? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That is a, another key element. Is that what he's trying to do, is he's trying to do what we do in weight He's trying to do that. Yeah. But the only way he knows how to do it is to split to get wide. Not ideal. So this is why you know you'll get to a point where you'll say I want to do more weight today because I want to I want to you know I want to get more of this type of overload and the only way I can do it is to drop underneath it and you won't physically be able to. So it's, it is limited. Um, <coughs> athletes can get away with just doing pulls. Pulls are useful, but you do lose that other part of the lift as you said. A bit like a bit like um, just doing gym. The up part of them. Um, athletes only need to learn how to clean. We should have seen now really that snatch is useful as well because it allows us to handle different types of weight. Posture is different as well than a snatch. Weightlifting is dangerous, no evidence at all for that. I think not what not weightlifting is dangerous for kids mainly. You, you're putting people out into an environment where they're under high forces and you haven't prepared them for it. That's, that is dangerous. But weightlifting is dangerous, period. It's not um, very safe in the, in, in the Olympics. It's like the lowest injury risk of any sport. Um, Back in back pain is not an issue in weightlifting. The research shows all this stuff. Key, is it? Key, key coaching phases. This is the stuff that we're going to be looking at now practically. 
If we're going to learn to clean, we've got to learn to front squat. It's that simple. But you have to learn to front squat, and you have to learn to front squat with good form and with a significant amount of depth and good posture. We have to learn how to overhead squat as well. If we're going to have to snatch. Um, I'm not sure if you've got to do overhead squats or not, but it's worth having a look. We did some in the beginning, but... They're hard. It's hard, man. Yeah, man, it's hard. So but it's an amazing exercise. Yeah. Posture. Posture. For, for all, all manners, all, all forward control, yeah. but especially if you want to become a good, you know, get your snatch, you need to be overhead squat. Um, Sorry? Um, you want to be able to keep your form together, you want to be able to keep control, but you want to really just load, load, load up your other lift. Still goes as heavy as you can cope with pretty much. Because I find with the overhead, it's totally different to my snatch. With the overhead, I can go probably up to about 40. Yeah. And then I can take a snatch up yeah. to 70k up in my head. Yeah. But when you want to go down with it, the yeah. control is different. Yeah. Mm. But you've got to think, if there's something you can't do, yeah. that's a limitation yeah. to you as an athlete. Yeah. You know, that's, that's going to limit your performance. Yeah. 